McDonald's, the number one fast food franchise in the entire world. A brand and company name that is known globally for serving some of the finest and most fattening unhealthy fast foods worldwide. In today's stealth camping mission, I visit one of the 38,000 McDonald's around the world. Actually, that's a bit of a lie. I visit three because of some high security problems. In this video, I spend the next 24 hours stealth van camping at the infamous Golden Arches and get stuck into some fine dining living off preservatives, high fructose corn syrup and artificial food coloring for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Oh, blimey. Please excuse me. Jesus, that's a loud seagull. We start today's video in a very strange place. I'm in Crawley, down in the south of England, because I've just been to M&S to pick up some new pants. There's no reason why I need to share that with you. I just thought, why not? Anyway, that is not the point of today's video. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back going stealth camping. If you're new to the channel, then recently I've been taking my self-converted van, which took over a year to convert to some weird, wacky, and wonderful places. Today's video, we are going to none other than the Big M, the Golden Arches, McDonald's. So usually with these videos, I tend to do a bit of cooking, cook up some grub and enjoy a nice warm meal inside the van. But considering that we're going to without doubt the most popular fast food franchise in the entire world, I'm not gonna be doing any cooking. So for breakfast, lunch and dinner, we're gonna be eating and living off McDonald's for the next 24 hours. Okay, so the McDonald's that we're going to tonight, somewhere where I've never been before, never thought to stealth camp in a McDonald's, so I thought, why not? It should be good fun. But it is the one right next to Gatwick Airport. If there's one place where I'm expecting to receive a penalty, a parking fine, or whatever it might be, it's this McDonald's. As you can see here, that road straight ahead takes you to Gatwick Airport, the short stay, the long stay, to catch a flight, all of that stuff. But the McDonald's is just round here. Oh, there's KFC as well. That can be next week's video. <laughs> the Big Arches McDonald's drive through open 24 hours. That's the only thing that may work in my favor is the fact that this one is 24 hours. I do love a McDonald's. Are you joking? Holy sh Okay. Okay, well, this is a little, this, whoa, we were, this is not what I expected. There's a barrier. Shit, I'm about to go through the drive-thru. Hold on a second, we're gonna have to reevaluate the situation here because there's a barrier. Well, I can't lie to you, that was an epic fail. And that is the exact reason why I thought coming to the McDonald's next to Gatwick Airport would be tricky but I did not realize that they would have barriers there. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I'm gonna have to have a rethink because I can't go into that McDonald's. You pay for a ticket or you get free parking, I assume, for a certain amount of time, but they said there would be a fine of up to 100 pounds and 100%, if I don't leave within that time limit, I would get a fine because there's a bloody barrier. That's not stealth camping, that's just stupidity. Wow, there are literally cameras everywhere. Two cameras up there, two cameras there, four cameras up there. What's it saying? 60 minute maximum stay if you breach 100 pound fine. <sighs> with all of those cameras, with all of that long detailed explanation of the parking rules, it's just not worth it because that's 100% 100 pound fine. And saying that at the Premier Inn, and the supermarket car parks and all of the stealth camps in the places that I've done before on this channel, I have never got a fine. But that is just so obviously a fine waiting to happen. So we're gonna go and find ourselves another McDonald's. Oh, you're joking, there's barriers here as well. Shit. Shit a brick. There's bloody barriers everywhere. 
McDonald's have really got their security on lock. What am I gonna do? I have no idea. Where are you go? Oh shit, where am I going? Sorry. That was my fault. Don't know what I was thinking just then. I don't know how this is gonna work. There's cameras everywhere. <laughs> if I could stealth camp and stay in the van here tonight, it's a bloody miracle. My plan has gone absolutely down the shitter. Oh my god, where's the chicken legend mill? Have they got rid of the chicken legend mill? Someone's gonna get knocked out. Ay, 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 ay. I've got to be honest with you, so far this video really hasn't gone to plan. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Here we go, here we go. It's like Christmas all over again. I can't lie to you, McDonald's. If you're watching this, I'm absolutely fuming at you. You have got rid of the chicken legend meal. The best thing on the menu. Where is that spicy mayo? That beautiful bun? Why have you taken it off the menu? I just don't get it. Instead, there's a crappy McCrispy or something, which is just... Nowhere near as good. So, hence why I've had to go for chicken nuggets today. Meal one, 20 chicken nuggets, some large fries, some cheese things, a large Fanta, and a shed load of ketchup, and some salsa dip. I'm gonna tuck into this, and then try and come up with a game plan, and figure out what the hell to do, because, again, I just can't see how I'm gonna stay here for the night when there's barriers, because surely, I think this place closes at 11 o'clock, which means at 11 o'clock, they're gonna close those barriers and kick everybody out of the car park. Mm. 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 Oh God, they are sublime though. Mm. We're going in for a nice cheese dipper thing. Mm. Oh, blimey. Please excuse me. Well, oh, about 15 minutes later and all that chicken and chips down, I'm feeling pretty ill. <laughs> it's definitely not a food that makes you feel good about yourself, that's for sure. You'll be glad to know, nonetheless, I've come up with a plan. So, what does this plan involve, you ask? Well, it involves driving yet again to another McDonald's. So in the space of about an hour, I've now been to three McDonald's. Fingers crossed, praying to the McDonald's gods that there's no barriers, no gates, no signs, or nothing. Not again. Jesus. Gets me every bloody time, this music. These are the barriers that I'm talking about, by the way, that are gonna close. One either side on this entrance and up that entrance there. So they're definitely gonna be closed later tonight, probably padlocked as well. So there's no point even trying to stay here. Well, for the third time, I hope to finally say, welcome home. Please, McDonald's, let me stealth camp here. <laughs> no barriers, no gates, no nothing. 
Yeah, boy. I don't think anyway. Let's park as close to it as we possibly can. Cheers, boss. What is going on? Has this fan got wider or something? Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome home to McDonald's. I think we've done it. No barriers, no nothing. Let me show you where we are. Tell me, does it get much closer to McDonald's than that? <laughs> I don't think so. So the place where I'm in right now was third time lucky. Somewhere where I actually used to live, near Peace Pottage. They've got a McDonald's drive through there and the McDonald's where you can go and obviously get food. There's a big Sainsbury's where I used to do my local weekly shopping. They've got an Iceland and they've got uh, the range. This is tonight's spot. I'm happy, I'm here. Looks like persistence, determination has paid off. This car park will be locked and secured 30 minutes after and reopened 30 minutes before the store's trading hours. Any vehicles left within the car park will not be released until the following morning. I'm either gonna get locked in the car park tonight Where's he going? Or I'm gonna get kicked out. Uh, we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> I've not seen that sign before, that they're gonna lock the gate, but I actually, I don't believe them. So we're just gonna try and get away with it and see what happens, that's all we can do. But uh, for the moment, I'm just gonna chill in here, get another McDonald's later for dinner, Keep an eye out what's going on outside the van. And there's World Cup football on tonight. Belgium versus somebody and some other football. So uh, we're just going to chill out and enjoy some time in the van. Stealth camping outside McDonald's, also outside the Sainsbury's and also outside some other commercial shops. We're going to stick the heater on nice and early tonight because although it's only 14 degrees, the temperature in the UK has really dropped at the minute. So let's stick it on power mode on a low setting and we'll just leave that on constantly pretty much throughout the entire night. How much water have I got? Full water, heating on, get the fan on. absolutely rammed out there that mcdonald's is seeing some business because everybody who must have finished work in this area is going straight to that mcdonald's the drive through is crazy and there's just people absolutely everywhere look at the queue for mcdonald's cars coming in cars coming out he's off into mcdonald's as well i reckon it's absolute chaos She's parking there, blimey O'Reilly. More people coming in. Oh my. I'm actually gonna say goodbye to the madness and chaos that's going on outside. Sorry, no deliveries today. Uh, oh my God, there's a spider. <gasps> spider. Is he dead? Holy shit, he's not dead. Very quickly, if you haven't seen the setup before, then this is my little van and my home on wheels. A queen sized double bed over there, spices, ingredients, little kitchen area, hob, and an oven. My slide out table where I do a bit of work and just cook most of my dinners. And then tonight, we'll be getting the football on, as always, and watching a bit of the World Cup.
Well, two things there. First of all, I forgot to lock my van, which was pretty stupid because my camera and my laptop and stuff is still in here, thankfully, though. And uh, second thing, just uh, ended the night with a McCrispy meal, which I have to say is more like muck The chicken McCrispy is crap. It is nowhere near as good as the chicken legend meal. Oh, oh, oh. So I didn't realize this earlier, but there's actually a gate there and there as that car comes through it. I'm assuming that gate is what they're going to be closing at 11 o'clock. The Sainsbury's is now closed. It's 10 o'clock, so it's, well, it's 10.30, so that's been closed for half an hour. And the McDonald's is the only thing open in this area, which I showed you that I'm parked in. So I think I'm going to risk it and just head to bed. And uh, assuming they're going to lock that gate, I'm going to be stuck in here tonight. So I've got to say, all of my concerns, not a problem at all. The only thing is, it was very noisy. Nobody came to knock on the uh, on the door or to kick me out, although I'm pretty sure I did hear the gate being closed around 11.30. But apart from that, a pretty successful night and a good night's sleep. The car park to this area is pretty quiet this morning. It's about half eight. So we're going to go in, go through the drive through go and pick up ourselves a nice McDonald's sausage and egg McMuffin, I think, for breakfast. And then head on out of here. The only thing I've got to worry about this morning is, am I going to fit underneath the height restriction at the McDonald's drive through Let's find out. The height barrier is saying 2.6 meters. Now I'm 2.6 meters. Oh God, oh God, do I risk it? Oh God, too late. Could I get a sausage and egg muffin meal, please? Uh, could I get orange juice, please? Uh, no, that's it, thanks. Bacon and egg? I didn't want bloody bacon and egg. Oh, it's not bacon and egg. It is sausage and egg. Look at that. Absolute goodness. Good for the heart, good for the soul. Cheers, big mackers, for a good night's sleep and a nice warm breakfast. Oh god damn, that's good. On that note, this morning, I'm gonna finish off this McDonald's breakfast and then head on out of here. But as I said, McDonald's ticked off the list. Job done. Definitely the place with the highest amount of cameras, warning signs, and just security that I've been to. Not this one specifically, but the previous two at the beginning of the video. Definitely don't think it was worth even trying to stay there for the night. As always, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give the video a like. Please make sure to subscribe. Catch you in the next one.